All right, Shalom, Yasha Allah. I want to start off with giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yabasha, Ba'ashim Rakakadash, the honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to you, brothers, through the four corners of the earth, preaching this word and also laboring in this word in true love and sincerity. Shalom to the hopeful elect. And today is a Sunday, so called church day, all right? And a lot of you wicked Israelites, you so called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, here you are going uh, uh, to so-called church, man, right? Which you don't know that we are the church, man. We are the temple, man. The Israelites. But y'all here y'all go running out every weekend to worship uh, white Jesus, right? And going to uh, the, the, uh, the church, the Harlot House, to listen to your pastor tell you nothing but lies man all right and then on top of that sunday is y'all don't even know uh that y'all worship in the sun man sunday is for the sun worship man so hey you jakes is out of there man all right but hey i wanted to do this lesson through the spirit because you know uh just on my uh, daily activity or whatnot and you see you see jakes man you see them all trying to, trying to be nice and dressed up in their little suits and a woman with their little furry hats and long coats and all that, you know, and all that. Trying to look all good for church, right? But here, here it is. Y'all been going to church for 40, 50, 60 years. And y'all don't even know the Bible, man, all right? Y'all still believe uh, Jesus, so-called Jesus, right? Or I mean, yeah, Jesus, right? Who the world only calls Jesus Christ. Y'all still think he's a white dude, man. Y'all still think the Lord is about all love. And y'all still think that uh, y'all are saved, man. Right? Y'all still think all these lies. but Because ultimately, y'all believe um, the philosophies of the so-called white man, man. Y'all believe that the spin that he had put on the Bible, man. Because the so-called white man, Esau, Edom, never taught the truth of the Bible. Right? They just put their own spin on it. You know, but here it is. The men of the Lord, we on the highways and byways every week telling you the truth in season and out of season. But yet, do you think you, you, you Jake's uh, open your ears to listen? Nope. But then y'all go to these harlot, house, harlot houses and these church houses to hear their foolishness. You see? So, Jake, y'all 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 destroyed, man. All right. Y'all y'all completely destroyed. Let me get this scripture. Uh. uh Isaiah 30 verse 10. Yep. Here we, uh, let's start at uh, 9. It says. Now this. Is a rebellious people. Lying children. Children that will not hear the law of the Lord. Right. You Israelites. Y'all are the most rebellious. Rebellious man. When, you, when we tell you that. The law is not done away with. That the law endure forever. What do y'all do? Y'all fan y'all hand. Y'all don't want to hear that y'all can't eat pork and shrimp and lobster no more. And catfish. Y'all don't want to hear that y'all can't sleep with another man's woman. Y'all don't want to hear that y'all can't smoke y'all cigarettes and smoke weed no more. Or, or uh, celebrate these wicked uh, holidays, man. Y'all don't want to hear that. You see? So y'all are rebellious children. That don't, that don't want to hear the law of the Lord, man. Y'all hate to hear the law of the Lord, man. When, you, when the law is beautiful, man. Okay? So verse 9 again, it says that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord, which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits. We don't want to hear the truth. Just tell us lies. Just rub our head, rub our head and pat us on the bottom and tell us that everything is going to be OK. Don't tell us that, you know, a martial law is coming. Don't tell us that a famine is coming. Don't tell us that the government is going to try to uh, uh, implement the RFID chip in us, which is the mark of the beast. Don't tell us about World War Three. We don't want to hear those things. We want to hear about peace. We want to hear about prosperity. We want to hear about making it in America, Babylon the Great. That's what you Jakes want to hear, man. 
But we're not telling you that, man. We're not going to uh, uh, we're not going to uh, hold our sword back for you people, man. So it says, which say to the seer, see not and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits. Get out of the way, turn aside out of the path, cause the Holy One of Israel to seize from before us. Wherefore, thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise this word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay, and stay therein. Therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a breach to ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall whose breaking cometh, cometh suddenly at an instant. You see? Hey, so since you want to despise the word of the Lord, since you want to trust in this place, Babylon the great, hey, what does scripture say in the next verse? Hey, Egypt shall be your confusion, man, because we know uh, this place, America, is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. Right. This is a place of bondage for you Israelites. Right. That's what Egypt means. But you Jake's trust in this place, man. You trust in oppression. Y'all don't put y'all trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. Y'all put y'all trust in the government, man. Y'all put y'all trust in Esau, Edom. You see. And all y'all try to say with your heart, all oh, y'all love the Lord and y'all all these things. And, you know, man, y'all, y'all, y'all just saying that, man. Y'all don't truly believe that, man. Because we know because when we come out of the scriptures and tell you, you know, what the Lord say do, what y'all say? What Bible is that? I ain't never heard that before. You ain't going here when you keep going into this harlot house every week. The pastor ain't going to tell you the truth of the Bible, man. The, the pastor ain't going to tell you uh, if you keep uh, being wicked that the Lord going to destroy you. He ain't going to tell you that. Because he's trying to continue to get that money that you bring in every week, man. I got Matthew 15, verse 7. It says, ye hypocrites. Well, did Isaiah prophesy of you saying, this people draw nigh unto me with their mouth and honor me with their lips. That's our people all the way, man. We love you, God. We love you, Jesus, which that, that, those aren't his names, you know. But, hey, our people got a zeal of the most high, but it's not according to knowledge. But what all do you hear out of our people's mouth? We love the Lord. We love the Lord. But the, script, but the scriptures say what? But their heart is far from me. Our people ain't med meditating upon the ways of Yah, Bashim, Yah, Shai. They're not really seeking the ways, uh, the true ways, how to please him. You think our people are reading the scriptures? Nah, man. They got it sitting on their dining room table open to like a, a book of Psalms, man. Which they don't never read it is for show and tell. So somebody can walk in their house and say, oh, okay. You read that chapter? What's I guarantee if you go in the house and ask them what this chapter is speaking about. They don't have no idea. You know? Hey, and some jakes will straight up tell you. I don't know. It just look good. Or it just sound good. It make me feel better. Which the scriptures are supposed to comfort you. I'm not denying that. You know, but you people don't use these scriptures for your comfortability, man. Okay, y'all don't, y'all don't, y'all don't use the Bible uh, as y'all standard, which it should be, to get you through hard times. You know, y'all use y'all y'all lean upon other things to get you through it, man. Hey, just like we heard this little Jake in the background when we was after count, he's like, yeah, man. I'm stressing, man. I, I, I gotta keep smoking so I can ease my mind. You, hey, y'all, Jake, y'all, y'all Israelites, y'all supposed to be in the scriptures ultimately to ease y'all, ease your mind, man. Now, is there anything wrong with you know having a drink here and there? I mean, yeah, if you you want to drink, you know, hey, the scripture says, "Give strong drink unto him that have a heavy heart," you know, because you know having some wine uh, make you merry, it make you feel a tad bit better in the captivity that we're in, but it ultimately does not give you the. Uh, uh, it doesn't fulfill you as the world will. You know? So that's why you may be in a slump and you may listen to a video. Uh, and, you know, this, the, the brother that's speaking the word through the spirit, hey, that, that video will uplift you, man. You know? 
So it says, this people draw nigh unto me with their mouth and honor me with their lips, but their heart is far, but their heart is far from me. But in vain they do worship me. You see? But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. You see that? So our people worship the Lord in vain, man. Um, let's go to the book of um oh, here we go. Here we go. The book of Colossians. Right? 2 verse 8. It says, uh, Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. After the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, man. Right? You people follow the rudiments of the world. And not after Hamashiach. Y'all don't follow after who the world only calls Jesus Christ. Which true name is Yahweh Shai? Y'all don't follow the ways of Yahweh Shai, man. Who y'all do follow is uh, the ideology of Jesus Christ, man. Right? Of white Jesus. And his, and his whole uh, uh, made-up way of life, man. Because if y'all follow the ways of Yahweh Shai, y'all wouldn't be doing the things y'all doing, man. You know? So I read that again. It says, beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after the, after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Hamashiach.